Gerald Lucas here with another installment of Ask Gerald, where you get your real estate questions answered. Today's question comes from Craig. Craig writes from Greenbelt, Maryland. Craig writes, where is the biggest risk in U.S. real estate now? Well, Craig, uh, the lending market has changed and shifted dramatically in the last few years. So in 2011, half of all mortgage loans um, were originated by the three biggest banks. Five years later, only about 20% of mortgage loans that were originated came from the three biggest banks. And of course that created an opportunity in the market for non-banks, which often are financial institutions that, um, that provide loans, but don't provide depositor accounts like checking accounts or savings accounts like, like a traditional bank would. And non-banks in some ways uh, can be more nimble than a bigger bank. So they offer um, different, sexier loan products for people, uh, etc. Um, and I'm sure that one of the main reasons why the real estate market has done so well in the last years, last few years is because of these non-banks that are doing mortgages as well. So I'm sure real estate prices wouldn't be as high with, without them and, and real estate markets wouldn't, um, wouldn't be doing as well. That said, the danger and the risk is the fact that these non-banks um, don't have the same kind of capital requirements that traditional banks do. So, you know, when we inevitably see another recession and mortgage defaults increase, because these non-banks are, are, you know, originating so many of these loans, in my view, that creates a bigger risk that the American taxpayer may have to come back in again and and bail things out if there are lots of mortgage defaults at some point in the future because there are so many non-traditional non-banks originating mortgage loans. So uh, thanks for your question Craig. For more real estate information and tips visit my blog at GeraldLucas.com. I'm Gerald Lucas, and I'll see you again soon.